Hi everyone, Namaste and welcome to this Vinyasa Yoga session with me, Avinash. Now in today's Vinyasa Yoga practice, uh, we will be moving into a lot of sequencing and we will be trying to move in a lot of dynamic flows. So we will try to spend uh, as much time moving into the practice as it is possible for us. But we will also be staying in some of the postures for just for few breaths in order to understand the alignments better and also in order to get the feel of the posture. Once we are done with that, we will be moving once again dynamically. So take your own time during the practice. If you feel in any certain places you need break, feel free to take the break and once again continue. Any place you feel that any particular posture is not comfortable for you uh, doing, if a variation given for that particular posture, please go for the variation. And if you feel that, again, you need to avoid that posture due to any reason, you're not comfortable, you're not comfortable with the variation also, take your own time into the practice and keep going according to your body limitation and also understanding the strengths of your body. Try to challenge yourself. All right. Now, without any further delay, let's get started. Please sit in any comfortable position. Sukhasan, Vajrasan. Keep your back straight, hands in chin mudra, eyes closed, shoulders relaxed. And we'll start with the centering for today. Let us start to focus on the breathing. And slowly try to increase the duration of every breath which you take. Start to observe your body. Become aware about your body and observe how you're feeling with it today. Prepare yourself for the upcoming practice in the same moment. And don't let any other sound or any other thought distract you at this moment. Let us join the hands to the heart center. And we will start with three omkaras together. Slowly start rubbing your palms, generate a good amount of heat. Make a cup of your palms, place it over your eyes, your facial muscles, and then very slowly open your eyes with a few blinks looking into your palms. Awesome, perfect. So let's get started with our warm-ups for today. 
The first things first, we will be starting from Sukhasana itself, keeping the back straight, keeping the shoulders relaxed, and after that, very slowly, see if you can keep the right palm down on the right side of the mat, and then very slowly try to go down and keep the right forearm down completely, without lifting the left hip off the floor and left knee off. Slowly take your left hand over the head, feel the stretches coming from the left side of the body. Breathe in, come back up, exhale and change. Inhale to the center, exhale to the side, inhale to the center, exhale to the side. Wonderful. Come back three more times. Right, center, left, center, right, center, left, center, right, center, and left and center. Wonderful. Slowly come back to the center. Now from here, very slowly take your right hand behind your back. Keep the fingers down, left palm on the right knee. With exhalation, twist from the right side and try to look to the back wall. Inhale and twist. Exhale, lift. Inhale and twist. Now keep moving. Two, center, three, center, four, center, five, center, six, center, seven, center, eight, center, nine, center, one last time, ten, and center. Awesome. Now from there, very slowly, come into a child's pose, Balasan, and from Balasan, just stretch your hands nicely in front of you. Make sure you are sitting at the back of your mat so you have enough space in front of you. And once that is done, inhale, try to lean forward and just let the chest come exactly in between your both the palms. Lift up, coming into Bhujangasana with bend elbows. And once again, go back into your mountain position. Oh, sorry, uh, into your child's pose. All right, let's move a few more times. Lean and Bhujangasan. Exhale, back. Inhale, up. Exhale, back. Inhale, up. Exhale, back. Another two more times. Inhale, up. Exhale. Back, one last time, inhale, up, exhale, back, and then very slowly, turn the toes in, lift yourself up, and go back into a mountain position, into your Parvatasana, push the heels down nicely, try to look towards your knees, spread the fingers, palms fully down, take a deep breath, inhale now from here, and very slowly lift your right leg up in the air. As you exhale, step your right foot in between your both the hands and try to keep the left knee off the floor only. Inhale, take your right leg back up in the air. Exhale, keep the right leg down. Lift your left leg up in the air. Exhale, left foot in. If the foot does not exactly come in between your both the hands, if it's somewhere back also, don't worry about it. Just make sure that you're not dropping down and you know, lowering the body weight completely just keep yourself lifted up okay now left leg up exhale down let's do it for a few more times inhale right leg up exhale in right leg back exhale down change left leg up exhale in inhale back exhale down right leg up exhale in inhale up, exhale, down. Left leg up, exhale, in, inhale, up, exhale, down. Right leg up, in, slowly, back and down. Left leg up, in, slowly, back 
and down. One last time. Right leg up. In. Back. And down. Left leg up. In. Left leg back. And down. Wonderful. Now breathe in. And breathe out. Very slowly. Step your right leg in. Left leg in. Both in between the hands. Keep the knees soft bent. Don't have to straighten the knees right now. And then very slowly. Place your both the palms on the waist and start to come up and stand on the mat. Perfect. Now, coming to the beginning of the mat, we will be starting with our first sequence for the day. Going for Ashtanga Surya Namaskara Type B. Let's take the first cycle a little slow, understanding the alignments and the variations which we can do in some postures and then we'll move further with few more sides. Keep your feet together, keep your hands close to the body, roll the shoulders back, keep the chest out. Inhale, very slowly start to bend your knees, take the hands down, raise the hands up, join the palms above your head, look at the tip of your thumb into Utkat Asan. Exhale, slowly start to bend forward down, reach towards the mat. Inhale, lengthen up halfway, look forward, keep your back flat. If by any chance your fingers are not touching the ground right now, what you can also do is place the palms on the shin bones and look forward. Exhale, and then very slowly, take the right leg back, left leg back, come into a plank position from there. Go down immediately and come into a push-up position which is your Chaturanga Danda Asan. Going into Chaturanga Danda Asan, if it's not comfortable, just see if you can keep the knees down and go for half Chaturanga, something like this. Or if that is also tough for today, just go with knees, chest and chin down, something like this. All right, let's try once again. Go for any of the variations from the three. Exhale, down, inhale. Urdhva Mukha, upward facing dog, take the toes out, keep the elbows straight, look forward, exhale, Adhva Mukha, look towards your knees, push the heels down, inhale, step your right foot in between your both hands, left heel down sideways, bend the right knee, raise the hands up, look forward into warrior one, exhale, keep your both the palms down, Take the right leg back once again. Chaturanga, Ardha Chaturanga, or knees, chest, chin down. Inhale, Urdhva Mukha. Exhale, Adhva Mukha. Inhale, step your left foot in, right heel down. Raise the hands up. Exhale, bend down, left leg back. Down. Inhale, up. Exhale, back and hold. One, two, three, four, and five. Slowly take your right leg in, left leg in, both in between the hands. Inhale, lengthen up halfway. Exhale, bend further down. Inhale, come all the way up, Utkatasan, chair pose. Exhale, bring the knees straight and make the hands come down. Okay, let's move ahead for another four more cycles just like this make sure of the uh, variations if you need in chaturanga and in the forward bends go ahead and feel free to go do and uh, go and do them all right let's start with the second cycle breathe in chair pose utkatasan breathe out bend down into your forward bend inhale ardha uttanasan exhale hold the breath Chaturanga Dandasan. Inhale. Urdhva Mukha Shwanasan. Exhale. Adho Mukha Shwanasan. Inhale. Take the right leg in. Left heel down. Just make sure your foot comes exactly in between your both the hands before you come up. Raise the hands up. Warrior. Exhale. Palms down. Right leg back. Chaturanga. Inhale. Urdhva Mukha. Exhale. Adho Mukha. Inhale, left leg in, right heel down, hands high, and come into a warrior. Exhale, palms down, left leg back, Chaturanga. Inhale, Urdhva Mukha. Exhale, Adhva Mukha. Hold, one, two, 
three, four, and five. Take your right leg in, left leg in. Inhale, lengthen up halfway. Exhale, bend further down. Inhale, chair pose. Utkatasan. Exhale, bring the hands down. Moving ahead, third cycle. Breathe in, chair pose. Breathe out, bend down. Breathe in, lengthen up halfway. Breathe out, back to Chaturanga. Inhale, Urdhva Mukha. Exhale, Adhva Mukha. Inhale, right leg in, left heel down, hands high, up. Exhale, palms down, right leg back, Chaturanga. Inhale, Urdhva Mukha. Exhale, Adhva Mukha. Inhale, left leg in, right heel down, hands high. Up, warrior. Exhale, palms down. Left leg back, Chaturanga. Inhale, Urdhva Mukha. Exhale, Adhva Mukha. Hold. You can always keep your feet a little apart and push the heels down nicely. One, two, three, four. And five, slowly take your right leg in, left leg in, inhale, lengthen up halfway, exhale, bend further down, inhale, chair pose, exhale, bring the hands down, moving to the fourth cycle, bend the knees, raise the hands up, chair pose, exhale, bend down, inhale, lengthen up halfway, exhale, palms down, right back, left back, Chaturanga Dandasan, inhale, Urdhva Mukha, Shvanasana. Exhale, Adhva Mukha, Shvanasana. Inhale, right leg in, left heel down, hands high, warrior one. Exhale, keep the palms down, right leg back, Chaturanga. Inhale, Urdhva Mukha. Exhale, Adhva Mukha. Inhale, left leg in, right heel down, hands high, warrior. Exhale, palms down, left leg back, Chaturanga. Inhale, Urdhva Mukha. Exhale, Adhva Mukha. Hold. One, two, three, four, five. And slowly, right leg in, left leg in. Inhale, lengthen up halfway. Exhale, bend further down. Inhale, chair pose, Utkatasana. Exhale, bring the hands down. One more cycle. All right, let's keep going. Stay strong. Breathe in, Utkatasana, chair pose. Breathe out, bend down. Breathe in, lengthen up halfway. Breathe out, back to Chaturanga. Inhale, Urdhva Mukha. Exhale, Adho Mukha. Inhale, right leg in, left heel down. Hands high, up, warrior. Exhale, palms down, right leg back, Chaturanga. Inhale, Urdho Mukha. Exhale, Adho Mukha. Inhale, left leg in, right heel down. Hands up. Exhale, palms down, left leg back, Chaturanga. Inhale. Urdhva Mukha, exhale, Adhva Mukha, and breathe, one, two, three, four, and five, slowly take your right leg in, left leg in, inhale, lengthen up halfway, exhale, bend further down, inhale, chair pose, Utkatasana, Exhale, bring the hands down and straight. Wonderful, everyone. All right, so I hope you're feeling completely warmed up by now. We're done with our first sequence. Now, before we move ahead, let's just take one quick break to settle down our breath. And then once again, we'll move further. For the break, let's come down into your child's pose, Balasan. Keep your feet, sorry, keep your knees apart, toes together and stretch your hands forward 
and out and breathe there one two three four five and very slowly come back and sit back into your vajrasan awesome now going ahead further into the practice so from here now first we are going into a mountain pose and from there we will be moving f ahead for our next sequence all right now first things first let's just have a look to the sequence and then we'll do it together okay so it's a very short sequence where we'll be following first we turn the toes in go back to the mountain we inhale and we lift the right leg up in the air we fold the right leg back and try to lift the right knee as high as possible once that is done over the exhalation bring the right leg in between your both the hands keep the left knee down all right now look up lift the right leg back up exhale right foot outside the right palm with inhalation you lift the right hand up now exhale keep the palms down take the right leg back right foot on top of your left foot if balancing is a challenge you can keep it in front and lift the right hand once again exhale keep the palms down back to the plank knees chest chin down inhale up dog exhale down dog and we'll repeat it on the other side that will make it one we will be doing this sequence for about two rounds okay right left right left that makes it two let's get started together once again lean forward back to the mountain starting together inhale lift the right leg up fold the right leg exhale right foot in between your both the hands inhale right leg up once again exhale right foot outside the right palm inhale take the right leg back into vashisht asan and lift up exhale keep the palm down and lean forward knees chest chin down inhale urdhva mukha exhale adho mukha inhale lift your left leg up exhale fold left foot in between your both the hands slowly left leg up in the air exhale left foot outside the left palm with inhalation lift your left hand up twist exhale palm down left leg goes back coming into a side plank exhale keep the palm down back into the plank knees chest chin down inhale upward dog exhale downward dog one more time inhale right leg up exhale fold inhale exhale right foot in between your both the hands inhale right leg up exhale right foot out with inhalation lift your right hand up from the right side twist exhale palm down right leg back and come into side plank this time hold into this 1 2 3 and 5 keep the palm down lean forward knees chest chin down on the ground inhale upward dog exhale downward dog inhale left leg up exhale fold the leg and left foot in anjani asan or a lunge left leg back left foot outside your left palm with inhalation twist come up exhale palm down left leg back on top of your right and hold 1 2 3 4 and 5 slowly take your left palm down keep the knees chest chin down on the ground inhale up dog exhale 
down dog and slowly sit back into Vajrasan. All right, take a deep breath, inhale and exhale out. Awesome. Once you're done with inhalation and the exhalation, moving ahead with our next sequence. This we will start together as this is going to be slightly, uh, you can say static in nature. We're going to be spending at least three to five breaths in every posture after moving into it. Okay, let's move once again into a mountain position. Breathe in, lift your right leg up once again. Exhale, right foot in between your both the hands. Keep your left knee off the floor. You're on your toes with your left leg with inhalation. Raise your hands up from the front. Hold. One, two, and three. With exhalation, keep your both the palms down. And slowly step your right leg back and see if you can take the right foot outside your left leg from behind. Turn your both the toes back and stretch your right hand over the head. Hold into Chamatkar Asana. One, two, three, and very slowly come back. Keep your palm down and slowly step your right foot outside your right palm. Keep the left knee down, both the forearms down, one by one. One, two, three, very slowly come on to your palms. After that, turn the left toe in, lift your left knee off the floor. Now you take this right leg up in the air and as you exhale, step the right leg out to the left side from under your left leg and keep the left heel down sideways with your support from the right palm, left leg and right leg down on the other side. Lift your left hand up, holding into a fallen triangle. One, two, three, four, and five. Slowly keep your left palm down. Take the right leg back, down into the mountain. Once again, keep the knees down, chest down in between the hands, chin down on the ground. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift your left leg up in the air. Exhale, left foot in between your both the hands. Make sure your right knee is straight. Lift up, raise the hands up. One, two, and three. Very slowly, keep your both the palms down. Take the left leg back behind your right, coming into Chamatkar Asan. One more time. One, two, three, and very slowly keep your palm down. Take your left foot outside your left palm, keeping the right knee down, right toe out, both the forearms down, once again into a lizard lunge. One, two, three, and slowly come onto your palms. Take the left leg back up in the air, going to the fallen triangle once again. On the other side, take your left foot out to the right side. Keep your right heel down. Raise the hand up and hold. One, two, three, four, and five. Very slowly, keep your palm down. Left leg back, keep your left leg down. Once again, knees down, chest down, chin down on the ground. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. And very slowly, sit back into your, uh, sorry, sit back into your Vajrasana. Perfect. This was one complete set. We're going to be going with one more round of this, but without holds only holding into the last posture for five counts. So all the three count postures, now we're gonna be not staying into that. Only the last posture of the sequence, we're gonna be holding for five counts, okay? Let's start one more time. Take yourself back into your mountain position. Inhale, lift your right leg up in the air. 
Exhale, step your right foot in between your both the hands. Make sure your right knee is in line with your heel. Raise the hands up into a high lunge. Exhale, keep your both the palms down. Take the right leg back into Chamatkar Asan. Lift your pelvis up nicely. Raise your hand back over the head. One leg straight, one leg bend. Exhale, keep your right palm down. Right foot outside your right palm. Left knee down, both the forearms down. Come into your lizard lunge. Slowly come onto your palms. Take the right leg up in the air. Exhale, going into a fallen triangle. Take the right leg to the left side, holding it there for five counts. Left hand up. One, hip higher. Two, three, four, five. And very slowly, take the left leg back. Come into a mountain position one more time. Knees, chest, chin down on the ground. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Inhale, now left leg up in the air. Exhale, left foot in between your both the hands. Be on the toes with the back leg. Make sure your right knee is straight. Raise the hands up. Exhale, keep your both the palms down. Take the left leg behind your right. Coming into Chamatkar Asan. Once again, stay strong, arch nicely, exhale, keep the palm down, back to the mountain and then left foot outside your left palm, keep the right knee down into a lizard, just make sure when you keep the forearms down, your both the elbows are in line with your left foot. Come onto your palms, take the left leg back up in the air, going for a fallen triangle, take the left leg out to the right side. Lift your right hand up, hold, one, two, three, four, and five. Keep your palm down, leg back, mountain, knees, chest, chin down on the ground, inhale, upward dog, exhale, downward dog, and keep your knees down, sit back into your balasan. Quick five breaths into Balasan. One, two, three, four, five, and very slowly come back and sit back into Vajrasan. Okay, moving ahead with our next sequence. So for this, we will start together. First, please come into a mountain position with me. All right. And after coming into the mountain position, take a deep breath, inhale. As you exhale, step your right foot in between your both the hands, left foot outside your left hand and squat down completely. Okay. Once you squat down fully, just make sure you look forward, but don't move your palms from its place. Now take the left leg back, right leg back. Now left foot in between your both the hands, right foot outside your right hand. Once again, squat down, look forward. Take your right leg back, left leg back, come into a mountain. Take your right leg outside your right palm, left leg also outside your right palm now. Squat down and Look forward, without moving your palms, take your legs back, left foot outside your left palm, right foot also outside your left palm, moving down and moving back once again. Now take your right leg outside your right palm, left leg outside your left palm, once again into a squat, looking forward, take the right leg back, left leg back, come into a mountain, now take the right leg in left leg in, both in between the hands and slowly squat down and sit back into your mat. Awesome. Slowly lie down from here on your back and after lying down on the back, I want you to first lift your both the legs for about a 90 degree and after you bring the legs for about a 90 degree, now we will be flapping the legs from almost a 60 degree 
to a 90 degree, something like this, okay? For about 10 counts, and after that, we will be moving further. So first, let's go. Starting from here, keeping the palms down, start. One, 90, and 60. If you feel that the low back is not comfortable, you can always keep your palms underneath your hips, something like this, and then continue. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Very slowly, cross your legs, bring the heels closer. With exhalation, slowly roll forward. Keep your both the feet down. Immediately when you roll forward, keep your both the hands down, lift your hip up. Left leg back, right leg back, come into a plank position. Now I want you to pull the right knee close to the chest, right leg back, left leg in, left leg back. Let's do this for another 10 counts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, strong, nine, 10. Keep the legs down, knees, chest, chin down on the ground. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. One more time, take your right leg in between your both the hands. Left foot outside your left palm. Once again, squat. Let's do it a little faster now. Left leg back, right leg back. Left leg in between your both the hands. Right leg outside your right hand. Right leg back, left leg back. Right and left, both outside your right hand. Slowly, back, left and right, both outside your left hand. Back, right outside your right hand, left outside your left. Right back, left back, right in between your hands, left in between your hands. Immediately from here, lie down and roll on the back. Immediately, lift your legs up, point the toes and start to flap. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's increase. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. And 20, well done. Slowly cross your legs, immediately with exhalation, come up, lift, and see if you can move back. Once again, into a plank. Once again, right knee in, left knee in. Keep moving, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Well done, slowly keep the knees down, chest down, chin down, on the ground, slowly. Lie down flat on the abdomen. After lying down flat on the abdomen, very slowly, fold your, both the legs, catch hold of your, both the ankles, and with inhalation, lift your chin, chest, and thighs off the ground, coming into Dhanur Asan. One, Two, three, four, and five. Very slowly, bring the body down, relax, and slowly take a turn with your head and rest your head down to any of the side. Keep your feet apart, hold it there for another five breaths. One, two, three, four, five, and very slowly come back. Now we will slowly lie down on the back, moving ahead with our next posture. After lying down on the back, please fold your both the legs, bring your heels close to your hips, hands close to the body, and once 
We are set. Let's keep the heels, uh, sorry, let's keep the feet apart. Inhale and lift your hip off the ground. And just see if you can create some space and take the palms underneath your low back and support the low back from underneath your low back. Sorry, support your low back with the help of your palm. And if you are not able to, you can always point and lift from your heels and give some space to the palm to go in. For another five, four, three, two, and one. Very slowly, take the hip down and moving ahead into our next position. We're going for Sarvangasan and Halasana now. So from here, what we will be doing is first, we will be straightening the legs. After that, we will be lifting our legs and supporting the low back. If by any chance you're not able to do Sarvangasana and Halasana today, for today, what you can do is just focus on a 90 degree leg hold, okay? So slowly, let's stretch the legs out on the mat, keeping the hands close to the body. Take a deep breath, inhale. As you exhale, very slowly lift your legs up, lift your hip up, immediately support your low back from the palms. Make sure the complete palms are supporting the low back. Legs should be fully straight. Look up and hold. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Very slowly, take your legs over the head. If the toes are touching the ground, great. But if it's not touching the ground because of maybe the back or the neck is not comfortable, just don't push it and hold it there at your comfortable position. One, two, three, four, five, and very slowly come back from this place after the five breath or fifth breath, very slowly start to come down and relax your lower back and the hip as slow and as comfortably as possible. After that, immediately uh, we will take the palms underneath our hips, trying to keep the elbows close and press from the elbows, lift your upper body up, keep the crown of your head down. If you're not comfortable with this, you can always just go with your forearms down and head dropping back. Just make sure it is comfortable for the neck and holding it there into Matsyasan for another 10 breaths. One, you can always close your eyes here. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Very slowly, come back to the center and take your hands out. Now, very slowly, pull your both the legs in and Catch hold of your both the feet from the inside. Open your feet sideways, something like this. With knees bent, the soles of your feet are parallel to the ceiling. Going into an Ananda Balasana. Happy baby pose. Maintain the position. One. Two. Three. Four. Five, and very slowly bring the legs in 
and legs closer. Now slowly stretch your left leg out on the mat, keeping the right knee close to the chest. Open your right hand to the shoulder level from the right side, going ahead into Supta Matsendra Asan. Uh, twist with exhalation. Turn your neck to the right side and press the right knee towards your left. Hold. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. And with inhalation, slowly untwist, come back, stretch your right leg out on the mat, fold your left leg in, open your left hand to the shoulder level, with exhalation, twist and breathe. One, two, three, four, and five. With inhalation, very slowly, take your left leg out on the mat. Keeping your feet apart, keeping your hands away from the body. Palms facing up to the ceiling. Eyes closed. Just relax your body. Relax your mind. Think about the practice you did today. Observe all the changes which are happening there inside your body at this moment. And before we go with the complete relaxation of Shavasan, let us go with a humming sound for a few times together. Inhale deeply. Feel the vibrations, the relaxation, and the calmness throughout the body and the mind. And maintain that into your Shavasan for some time.
and a very slowly come back to your body consciousness. Sensitize your toes, your fingers, palms, and start to feel your complete body. Very slowly bring your feet together. Stretch your both the hands above your head, interlock your fingers, flip the palms out and start to stretch your complete body. Stretch, stretch, stretch and relax. Very slowly take a turn towards your right side. Keep the right hand under your head as a support. A left palm in front of your chest on the mat. With the support of your left palm, slowly try to come up. And sit in any comfortable position. Join your hands to the heart center. Let us close the practice with one Om and three Shanti together. Shanti Shanti Slowly start rubbing your palms Generate a good amount of heat Make a cup of your palms Place it over your eyes Your facial muscles Spread the energy down to your neck Arms Chest Abdomen Back and the legs and then very slowly open your eyes with a few blinks looking into your palms right. thank you so much everyone for joining me in this wonderful vinyasa session today i hope you're feeling completely relaxed fresh and energetic with the body and the mind i will be looking for your valuable feedback on this session on our facebook community stronger together with cult fit home once again, thank you so much for joining me. I'll see you once again in another session. Till then, please take care. And this is me, Avinash, signing off for today. More such workout videos, download the Culfit app now. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. We are Cult.